Hey guys, it's Ed. I just got back from a coffee house in Winter Park, Florida, which is just north of Orlando. It's called Austin's. I filmed some there. I filmed my friend Joe. He's a film student out at Full Sail in uh, Winter Park. And I'm hoping to get with him and some other comedians and start uh, filming like funny sketches to post on here. So here's some of the footage. <laughs> this is Austin's in Winter Park, Florida. <laughs> Yeah. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi YouTube. The Russian mafia? And I said, Mom, how's God's step? What's up? My name's Joe. I'm a stand-up comedian. This is my fifth time doing it. Which means it's gonna be dead fucking quiet when I go in there. But uh, I'm just gonna go up and have a good time. Watch my man. What's your name? Ed? Ed. Ed. Yeah. Well, well, what's your YouTube name? Yosty Monster. Yosty Monster. I'm hanging out here they with Yosty Monster. You probably know that because they're watching it on my account. So. <laughs> All right. Me and Yosty Monster holding it down over here. We're gonna get some laughs. One day be famous. Make the money. Just having a good time. All right, man. Thanks. Hey, this is Joe, everybody. Give it up for him. What's up, guys? You guys still awake? Yeah. All right. Uh, you want to make some noise for all the uh, the comics that have been up tonight? They're pretty kick ass, right? Sweet. Yeah, that's a hell of a noise. What's up, guys? So I did something really embarrassing today. I was driving down the street and I was listening to music. I was listening to Metallica. New CD kicks ass. If you haven't heard it, check it out. But I was listening to metal and I was really getting into it. I was like headbanging and shit, singing. And we've all done it in the car. I I'll never do it in a club or anything. You'll never see me dancing. I'll never, I don't even sing in the shower. But in my car, I'm willing to risk my life, you know? <laughs> Playing drums on the pedals and shit. So I get to a red light and I look over and there's two girls staring at me. We've all, we've all been caught dancing in the car and shit. And usually people are laughing. They're like, ah, I caught you, douchebag, you fucking asshole. Not these girls. They were just straight up staring at me, horrified. Like I was Hitler giving a speech or some shit. Relax. Like a guest star on To Catch a Predator. Is he crazy? What the fuck is he doing? Sorry, it's good music. Just, sorry. It happens. I embarrass myself a lot. I'm doing this shit. <laughs> it's fun though. So everyone's going crazy over uh, Obamacare, Obama's health care plan, free health care. You know, I don't, I don't know much about it, but free health care sounds pretty cool. Everyone likes the free sample at the grocery store, so free medicine, fuck yeah. My only question though is, does free health care mean free abortions? <laughs> Yeah, because that would benefit millions of Americans, you know? Less child support, no more crying kids on the fucking airplane. Less kids, that's awesome. I was watching this really cool show today about Eskimos. Eskimos are really interesting to me. They live in igloos, and that really fascinates me because how do Eskimos get laid in igloos? If you really think about it, the first thing a girl judges when she hangs out with a guy is the place he lives in. You know, she walks in, oh, this place is nice, I'm gonna fuck him. Or, you know, this guy's a loser, fuck this. The guy, the guy, Eskimos live in igloos. What do you think a girl's thinking when he's like, oh, this is the snowball I built this morning. <laughs> Take a seat in the back, yeah, if you get cold, cover yourself with that walrus. I killed it yesterday. Later on, I'm gonna go ice fishing, I'll catch you some dinner, warm your clams. Because I'm going to shove you in with some Eskimo cock. <laughs> Warm your clams. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> good, right? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I was, I was uh, surfing the internet the other day. I was looking for Asian blowjobs because I was really bored. And I kept getting ads for foot fetishes. That's really fucking weird, and it kind of pisses me off. Not because I think it's perverted, but because guys with foot fetishes have it so much easier than the rest of us. Most guys are into, you know, tits and ass, but those are private areas by societal standards. If you look at some tits, you're a perv. If you try to catch a peek at the thong, you're a fucking weirdo. 
Yet girls will dance around in their thong sandals all fucking day. Those, these foot guys, they got it easy, you know? Work at Payless and get a boner all day. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. Saw 6 is coming out at the end of the year. Saw 6. Saw 6. Saw 1 came out 6 fucking years ago. Saw 6. They're making Saw every single year. You, you know what that means? They're making Saw every year. It's an annual event now. It's like a holiday. Every year, millions of people gather to see new creative ways to be tortured. We're going to take our grandkids to see like Saw 75 or some shit. And tell them really shitty stories. Like, yeah, when I was your age, it only cost eight fifty to see Saw 8. Yeah, the traps were so much better back then. You fucking kids these days, you don't know what good death traps are. <sighs> Alright guys, it's late. I'm going to get out of here. How you doing? This is my fourth time. So if I suck, just remember you got in, def got in free. Sorry. You tell us my fourth time. I suck. But anyways. Oh, so what's I going to talk about? Oh, my first time doing stand-up, it was just, I did it like three years ago, and I just got like mentally just damaged from it, but I'm trying it again, this is my fourth time. Um, the one thing that got me, yeah, the one thing that got me was the lights. The lights are not bad here, but I started at the Why Not Lounge, and it's like a deer in headlights when you get up here, and I was like thinking, you know, not only, not only was I scared, but I couldn't see a damn thing. That's not a good combination, you know, I'm thinking, am I doing stand-up? Or my notebook. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know I did that. Okay. Am I doing stand up or am I in a fucking police lineup, you know? <laughs> Waiting for someone to leave. Battery and the camera went dead. Because before I was taping Joe and the battery light started blinking. So I decided to keep taping him because he was probably funnier than I would have been. And then I got up there and it only lasted like about a minute, which is probably good because I didn't do very well. Um, they get very many laughs, but I think Joe was a lot funnier than I was, so I'll talk to you later, guys.